Deep in the undergrowth of Auckland's Waitakere Ranges lurks a fearsome predator, a carnivorous giant land snail that moves through the forest at night, sucking up worms like spaghetti. Threatened and beautiful, they have caught the attention of one man who is hell-bent on unravelling the mystery of how they got there in the first place. I reckon I've got one. I have got one. Uh, oh yeah, there's, there's someone in there. Oh great. Excellent. Well, I'd better get the gear out and we'll measure them, eh? Great. 59.3 millimetres. And we'll measure his width. And I'd say he's up around 44. No, 46.6 millimetres. So yeah, that's, that's an adult snail. Here we've got a comparison of a carry snail, a large adult. This is a, a deceased snail, just a shell. And a, small garden snail. You can see that there's quite a big difference in size. I've been mainly investigating the distribution across the Waitakere's um, and yeah I've, I've been surprised by how widely dispersed they are. Some of the best information I've had about the distribution of the snails has come from guys that uh, run at night and uh, they see the snails in their headlights and uh, sometimes they pick them up off the road because they're worried they'll get run over by cars if they're crossing a road. It's pretty cool seeing them at night. They really are amazing. They, they, a large snail like this can extend, you know, a good, good 100 millimetres out of its shell, and you know, it is quite a, quite a sight. And I've now found that there are populations of these snails over a significant amount of the um, Waitakere Ranges. A, a lot of the populations are quite close to um, West Auckland. I'll hopefully make, make all, all more Aucklanders aware that in their backyard there are giant carnivorous snails. When I started my um, search for information about the distribution, an old gentleman, Alwyn Richardson, and he came forward with information about um, translocating the snails from Northland down to the Waitakere's. That may explain the wider distribution that, that we're uncovering today, including a lot of the snails that are quite close to some of these western suburbs. I set out as a boy, I was say 15 or something like that, and uh, mum said, well, do ring, dear, and that was it. <laughs> so I went up into the Hokianga and uh, thumbed a ride at 15. I ended up with 26, and um, uh, I left the Hokianga with them in a, in a bag, and I brought them back to Auckland, where we, my father owned uh, 10 acres of bush at uh, um, the top end of the way. Takari Rangers, and I felt I'd done something for Popo Rangi. I dragged them out of the bush where they were very happy in the, in the Furunaki Rangers, and I had to um, do something for them. The large and fascinating kauri snails are not out of the woods yet, due to being eaten by introduced predators such as pigs or rats, and their habitat being destroyed. However, here in the Waitakere's, they have some dedicated humans on their side, so hopefully their recovery will be faster than snail's pace. Demand.